Man, do I love my Nintendo Wii from the year 2006. But man, it's just getting kind of boring lately. Hello, welcome to this again. Today, I'm going to be installing Linux on the Wii. Because man, there are so many things you can do with Linux on the Wii. You can type things. The possibilities are limitless. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Just installing Linux on the th thing that definitely should not be running Linux. Alright, so the first part of the setup is going to be performed on my main PC here, and I will be using the white Linux installer with two eyes. Now luckily they have released a simple GUI based installer that I will be using. Never mind, it broke. Is this entire thing broken? No. O okay, so this, uh, that is broken. As of 2008, directory index display has been disabled by default. Okay, here's a GBA temp link. Man, I hate it when websites think I have an ad blocker, but I don't. It's just Malwarebytes. Alright, I found a download that works, so I'm, I'm gonna download that. It's in a tar.bz2 file. I hope 7-zip can handle that. Alright, here we go. Now we have an actual thing to put on the SD card. I'm gonna just move this to my very well-named SD card, and I'm now downloading the White Linux bundle. Actually, it says to copy them to the root of a USB stick, so, uh, let me find one. All right, cool, now I have a blank USB stick, and I'm gonna copy these to that. All right, now we head over to the Wii side of things. All right, we are back on the Wii side of things. All right, here on the Homebrew channel, White Linux installer. All right, cool. Um. Ooh, my monitor's not liking this. Um, I'm up. Why is this output so... Oh my god. Jeez. And I lost it. Okay, um, fantastic. It's back and not nearly as atrocious. Alright, so I need to plug in a USB keyboard. Uh, I hope it doesn't mind me using an Apple keyboard from like 2001. Man, this thing's cable is short. Alright, cool, my USB keyboard is working. Alright, now we're in proper resolution here. Alright, so... The following process will erase the contents of the SD card inserted into the front slot of your Nintendo Wii. If you need to swap SD cards, you should do it now. Okay, take this out. I dropped it. Let's hope it's fine with SDHC cards. Couldn't find the installation. It's missing that and that, but I had it. Yeah, looking at the USB stick, uh, it's it's there. Couldn't find the installation tarballs, but like they're in there. All right, I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna work, but I have uh, formatted the USB stick as NTFS this time. And now my USB keyboard won't work. I love that for it. Couldn't find the installation tarball, okay. The USB keyboard keeps getting nudged and then it stops working. Ooh, that's not good. That's... That's not... That's that's not good. Ooh, that's... That's not good at all. Okay, fixed. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I've been following the wrong guide. Turns out I need to be using this guide from 2020 as opposed to 2009. I'm assuming this goes into the USB stick again. All right, so I'm gonna delete this, replace it with this, and then we just repeat the steps from before. All right, we open up this again, where it then proceeds to not open. That's fun. All right, now it opened. And press yes. God damn it. All right, I've formatted the USB stick as FAT instead of FAT32 or NTFS, so let's see if, see if this works. It doesn't, and that's where I pivot. Alright, now that's originally where I would have given up on this video, but I found a new USB stick, and I'm gonna see if it actually works this time. So, I got USB stick and the keyboard very properly plugged into the back of it. So now we swap the SD card once again. Alright, one moment. Alright, I've tried renaming the files to this because, as you might have noticed, uh, the new files uh, aren't named this, so let's see if it works this time. Okay. I have one more idea. Alright, I've got another USB stick. This time, it's USB 2.0. 
If this doesn't work, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What are you talking about? It's right there. <laughs> oh no. You didn't see that. Nothing happened. Is my G Wii okay? It's got a new spot on it. I don't think that was there before. I think I, th I think it's good. <laughs> okay, so now it's looking for the not renamed files. This is fantastic. Okay, I've re-renamed the files. Now will it work? Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Please do not remove the SD card nor any USB storage devices. The installation needs to access those devices from now on. I'll access all those. Go. Sure. All right, here we go. So, uh, uh, yeah. I can't tell if the Wii just, like, isn't on anymore. I can't tell if that's yellow or green. Oh, it just went into sleep mode. Okay, all right, that's, I, I pressed a few buttons on the keyboard and it's back. Okay, cool. Hey, look at that. Congratulations. You successfully installed it onto your SD card. Press OK to reboot the video console. Bye. Alright, we're finally back to the Wii menu. What if I click the launch boot me button? Oh. Oh. Media not ready. Okay, that's fun. Done. Failed. I'm sure all this is fine. I... Well, thanks for spitting out my disc. Hey. Ooh, a e. Thanks for giving me back my precious chicken shoot. We have a desktop. Holy crap, it's not fitting to my display properly, I don't think, but we have a desktop. Can I plug a mouse into this by chance? Alright, so I've got a new guest star that most of you probably don't know because it is the worst performing video on my channel ever. The Twins Mouse. This thing is very good. <gasps> the mouse works, holy crap! Alright, what do we do now? Not go there, I guess. 2006. Web browser. Oh. File manager, let's manage some files. There's not really much on the desktop. <laughs> the, the directory is Wii, that's amazing. Editor, heck yeah, we got notepad. Woo! Sure, let's save that. Cannot open file to write. Okay, that's fun. Command prompt. I can. Terminal. I can directory listing. That's neat. Apps. What, what do we got on here? There's VNC server. If I got this connected to the internet, I can control it from my main computer. <laughs> we have VLC on here. I could could put some stuff onto the SD card. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. All right, I've put some media files onto the SD card, as well as a USB stick that's sitting right there. We'll see if it, you know, works. I doubt it. All right, we're back. I doubt it's gonna show up on here because I'm pretty sure this is like a virtual drive. So I'm gonna unplug the keyboard and plug this USB stick in. And yeah, no, I'm not seeing any USB things. Maybe the USB stick just has to be plugged in while Linux is first booting up. I'll try that. Now keep in mind, this is the same USB stick with the same configuration as when I was, you know, using it to install this OS, so it should work. Yeah, no, I'm not getting anything. Dang. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really not much you can do with this. I mean, there's really no point other than, you know, you thought it was neat and you wanted to make a video about it, or, I don't know, if you really wanted to use your Wii as a text editor, especially because it can't even play, like, audio files or anything. You can't use it as a media player at all. It's, I mean, I guess you could do some very light programming on it. Like, you really can't call this a computer. Like, watch this. Wii MC is not installed. <clears throat> Wii MC. This is what I was trying to do on Linux.
Now, it is very, very low quality, uh, 240p to be exact, but I mean, it works. How do I leave? I forgot. There we go. That's, I accidentally downloaded the high quality version of it. Let's see if that works. Oh, something bad in that. It's not supposed to look like that. I can barely make out the Good Kid logo. And the audio is working, I guess. I even popped a Beat Saber clip on here. This is even more low quality than before. Hello, welcome to this again. The Nintendo Wii. This was test released in Canada in 2013 for $99 with a copy of Mario Kart 7. I know, it wasn't Mario Kart 7. I know it was Mario Kart Wii. Stop commenting about it. So yeah, if you want to turn your Wii into a media player, don't install Linux on it. But if you want to use your Wii as a text editor for some reason, sure, go for it. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Sola Sippy Cup, Andillo, Skyblocker, Serenity Scubus, Anaya Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.